Now the process you just saw was a quick recap of how to find local max and min of a function. I'm going to walk you through how to do it with this function, f of x is x cubed minus 3x. You first find the critical points, so you set the derivative equal to 0, and solve for x. Those give the possibilities for a local max and min. The second step is to check these points on a number line. So what you do is you draw out a number line that looks like this with your critical points. You know that at these points the slope is zero, so that's why I put a little zero up there. What we're going to do is check numbers around these points to see if the derivative is positive or negative. I box the derivative for you right there. So we're going to check negative two. Plug in negative two and you get nine. Positive number, that's all you care about, so you put a plus on your number line. Let's check zero. Plug it in, you get negative three. That's a negative number, so you put a minus. And finally, let's check two. You get a positive number, and so that's all you really need to do. Now you figure out what this says about f, and interpret it accordingly. Now what you just saw was how to find absolute or global max of a function on an interval. As you noticed, it was a little different. We saw this one in class also. You don't have to make a number line for this one. You just have to find the y values at the critical points and the endpoints. Now let's take this to some word problems. I want to figure out what is the maximum area of a rectangle with perimeter 20 feet. So let's take a look at a couple of examples of rectangles with perimeter 20 feet. If you take a look at this rectangle, it's an 8 by 2, so the opposite sides are 8 and then the other sides are 2 each. Add up all those sides, you get perimeter 20, right? Now the area of that is 8 times 2, which is 16 square feet. So there's an example of a rectangle with perimeter 20 feet and its area turns out to be 16 square feet. Here's another example, a 6 by 4. The area is 24 square feet though, even though the perimeter is still 20 feet. So, different area, this one actually has a bigger area. Now let's make a 3 by 7. The area is 21 square feet, but the perimeter is still 20 feet. So even though the perimeter stays the same, the area can keep changing. So what we're going to try to do is figure out the sides for a rectangle that give it a maximum area. Since we don't know what those sides are yet, let's just call them x and y. And then the area is x times y. Now what's the perimeter? You just add up the sides, x plus y plus x plus y. Since that has to equal 20, we can actually solve for one of the variables. We can solve for y, and we get that it's 10 minus x. So we want to find the maximum area. Remember our area is x times y, 
and we just found that y was equal to 10 minus x. That was what we just did on the bottom left there. So if we substitute that in, we can get area just as a function of x. Now this is good, because we're looking to find the maximum. You guys know how to find max and mins, we just did this. Find the critical points. So you take derivative, set it equal to zero, solve for x. The next thing you do is put that on a number line. Check this on a number line. So put your 5 there. You know that the slope is 0 at 5, right? You just did derivative, set it equal to 0, and got 5. So you know the derivative is 0 there. Now we just need to figure out if we put a plus or a minus. So plug in numbers to the left of 5 into your a prime. If you plug in, say, 0, you get 10, which is a positive number, so you put a plus. And similarly, on the other side, you get a minus. If you draw out what this means for a, it means an up arrow and then a down arrow, right? So that looks like a maximum, which means that the maximum area happens when the side length x is equal to 5. So let me go ahead and replace that in our little drawing over there. Now what is the other side? Well, we know that y is equal to 10 minus x, so y is also equal to 5. So let me replace that there too. So it turns out, actually, the way to get the maximum area of a rectangle is actually with a square. And that maximum area happens to be 25 square feet.